No thanks, Mum. All right, Mum, we'll do thanks. I think I'll go with this one. Are you unlucky in love? Are you struggling to find Mr. or Mrs. Right? Do you find it hard to meet new people? Well, TrueMatch.com will help to solve all your problems. Sign up for free online now. Oh my god, someone's actually messaged me! Hello, Andy25 from Liverpool. What are you excited about? Oh, nothing, just um, this new series. I've been waiting to start coming on in a week. Good morning, Kate. Who knew we'd have a connection like we do? I can't believe we live so close to each other. Oh, bloody hell, what happened to normal dates such as a fancy meal?
I'm dying to know what he looks like. I find it odd that he doesn't have a profile pick up. Oh, then again, I haven't either. <sighs> oh my god, I can't use any of them. State. Surely you'll want to know what I look like though. I want to know what he looks like. Hiya. Hiya. It's nice to actually meet you on camera. Yeah, you too. Uh, what have you been up to? Um, not much today. I, um, I've been to the hospital. Why? What's up? Um, I'm in a wheelchair. Oh, alright. Oh, I'm not I'm sure, sure what to think. think. He isn't no oil painting, but... but... Well, then again, who am I to judge? So, um, do you have any siblings? Um, what's your favourite film, TV programme, music? Um, I've got one brother, Bridget Jones Diary, Coronation Street and pop music. I don't really like pop. I prefer alternative rock music like Pearl Jam and Radiohead. I don't like all that soppy shit. Is that what you're into, rom-coms? Yep. Can all be perfect. So, um, what do you want to do with your life? Uh, well, I'm only 21. I haven't really thought that far ahead. I'm 25 and I want to be married by 27 with kids. I think I'll let the name Rosie or Lewis for my kid's name. Oh, he's a bit too full on. He might have the perfectly styled hair and the right height, but I'm just not feeling it. Plus, he's quite intimidating. So, do you work? How did you end up in a wheelchair? Have you been speaking to anyone else on True Match? Oh, I feel like I'm being questioned for committing a crime. Uh, well, I don't work. To be honest with you, there's not much that I can do in this chair. As for this, that happens when I was younger, in a car crash. And no, you're the first person I spoke to. Oh, I'm probably the last, speaking of car crash situations. All right, um, yeah, you're yeah, the first person I've met up there too. Oh, I really, I really don't, don't like, like this guy. guy. There's only one, one thing, thing to, to do. do. Leave. Leave. Listen, I'm gonna have to go, okay? Not bad. I'm not I'm gonna, gonna sell for someone who accepts my chair, but is a complete asshole. Hi, I'm Vicky and I'm the camera operator for The Imperfect Match um, using the Canon 5D. Um, it's taken me a while to get used to like, using the new settings because I haven't really used it before so some of the camera settings weren't the same as other cameras that I've used previously on other shoots. Um, we, did, we have had some difficulties trying to like, set the camera up and we experienced one of this in when we were on location for one of the shoots. Some of the settings they weren't setting properly, um, so we tried to come around that. But hopefully, for the next time that we shoot on location, the more I keep using the camera, I'll get more used to it, and it should be okay. I'm Sean. Um, 
I'm um, part of the uh, the project, the Imperfect Match, and I was the uh, sound engineer. Um, well, basically, at the start of the project, we needed to do some research, so uh, I looked into basically looking into how, how we would record um, a Skype conversation because we had that originally in in, in the idea. So uh, basically, I looked into different programs, um, like the one that I uh, basically looked into the most was the De uh, debut video capture software, which basically it it took the um, took the sound from the, the actual Skype conversation, well, well the person on the other end anyway, and it took the the like um, the voice, and then what I was planning on doing was like um, recording the other person at the other end, so that would be the actor Mia, recording her, her voice separately, and then doing it that way, but. Um, like I wasn't gonna settle for just the one option. I also looked into um, like doing it other ways. So like there was this uh, YouTube thing. Well, I looked on YouTube, and there's this guy that um, he, he showed you a way of doing it by um, sticking a microphone into the um, into the 4M and then recording it straight from well, recording it from the person uh, that would be like the actor in this case, like from not on the computer but uh, and filming the the audio from the computer um but like it was quite technical um so like i asked like some of the members of the group whether we should do that um and um but like by that time we'd decided we weren't going to have a skype conversation but um yeah it, it gave me a good insight on how to do it and um yeah. I'm Stacey and I'm a designer for our film, The Imperfect Match. This requires me to take all the footage from each of the shoots and import it into Final Cut and rename all of the footage and the sounds. Um, I think because it's a simple script it will be easier to rename all sound and edit it together. Uh, I am Jake, uh, I'm the director for The Imperfect Match. Um, I think with this film, working quite closely with uh, the script writer and stuff like that, um, making sure that we've got a, ba a basic storyline to follow, not nothing too complicated or over the top. I've made that mistake in the past in other projects and things like that where it's got a bit complicated and then it's been a lot harder to film and things like that. So I think this time round, doing it the way that we have, we've all stayed in close connection with each other, making sure we're all working towards the same kind of goal. So I think, I think the film process this time is going to be a lot easier for all of us due to, as I say, being a lot more simplistic and not sim not simplistic as in dumbing it down and things like that, but you know, simplistic with them being able to keep it keep it entertaining as well. I think that was quite difficult at one stage for us when we were deciding what to do and things like that. But kind of with this one, I feel as though less is more. So I think it's going to run smoothly this time. We'll get a good film out of it, I think. Um, well, coming up to the um, to the filming, um, I hadn't used the uh, sound equipment that much, so um, I took it out. Uh, lent it from the library uh, to use. I, I, I was using the uh, the four end to start off with, um, and got quite accustomed to like using it in that. Um, but when it came to doing the actual project, it it was never available. So um, we ended up using the uh, the Fostec, and um, I, I, I searched up other YouTube uh, clips such as like there's one called like the Fostec Man, and you use that, and it, it taught you the basics about using it. Um, and uh, I'd later on use like the, the H6, but um, by that time I'd got accustomed to like the the Fostec because I'd been using it a lot for the for the project, and um, I'd like um, I'd, I'd learn how to use it on set. So I just um, basically used that from now on, and it, it became like my favourite um, way of doing it. And I think it is I think it is a little bit easier to, to use as well. Um, there's less buttons, less less options, um, 
it just uses lots of batteries. So at the moment I'm just in the um, process of editing. There's been um, some challenges with uh, matching the dialogue and the um, footage together but I've, I've managed to get around them and make like, each one fit. Um, we've also had some problems with the shot, with certain shots not being there. So in order to come this, we've used time lapses to fill these spaces, which um, I've also actually helped with the effect of the film, and I think I personally think it makes them look a bit better. Um. Right, so we're a couple of shoots into it now, into the film. Um, We've we've came across some pro some problems with um, one of the actors that we got in. Um, the actress that we've got has been great. She's been uh, perfect all the way through it. Um, unfortunately, we had the male actor in the film uh, change plans at the last second, and uh, so he's dropped out. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to look for another actor for the scene that we want to film in the park so um, me and Leo have been working together to change the script again so and it's now going to be based in the same location we're still going to have the conversation go on between the two characters but due to the restrictions of not having that male actor um, it's, it's made it a bit more complicated for us obviously but like I say we're working, we're working through the script now to get it up to scratch and stuff. Hopefully it'll still deliver the end product that we were hoping to at the end of the film.